Hey everyone, Jake here. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how I like to teach young dogs to let go. Um, we work with a lot of dogs here that get really possessive. They don't wanna let go of the tug or ball, and it can be kind of frustrating for the owners, but we can start at a young age, and I wanna show you in real time here just how you can do that. The alpha couple step process. So if I have the toy like this, and I'm gonna play with her, I'm gonna have the, uh, Synthetic is better than Juke. Juke, she's gonna really sink her teeth into that. Big thing is when you have one of these toys, I mean, she's genetically, knowing where she comes from, like a really nice dog. But the sooner you can start in this now, the better. You know, I have a dog right now that if, if I would've done this with a puppy, it wouldn't be dealing with half the stuff I'm dealing with right now. Gotcha. Um, but big thing, I'm gonna start by doing this if I can, where I'm gonna hold it real close to me. I'm not, I'm gonna wait till she starts to bleed off. Yes, <laughs> The moment she lets go just like that, I'm gonna play again, Maybe okay? You want this one toy out when you can, yeah. right? You have two out, and we're gonna put a command to this. Watch. I'm See, that's what I've kind of been using as a handicap, the two toy system. Yeah, and you can, but watch. I'm gonna play with her, and I'm gonna stop motion just like this. Yes, good girl. The moment she lets go, I play again. Do you see how easy that was? Absolutely. Right? But it took a minute. The first time she did not want to let go, but I just waited her out. So I'm gonna stop motion again. Yes, good girl. I make it fun to let go. Then I'll add a sit to it. Right? But this is what I would do. Right when she lets go, out. Yes, good girl. I'm trying to tell her out after she lets go. But eventually I can get her on command to do that. And obviously she has an interest in other toys too, right? So I would start with this, but if you can, you can start to apply it to anything else. For example, like we have- This one, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to anticipate her having trouble. That's one of the hardest things for me to get back from her. Pulling it back just a little bit. Don't let her win it, right, all the time. She wins it all the time, she's never gonna let go. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna stop motion. See if I can do it again, right? Different, right, we're on the jute, okay? So I'm gonna... So it's starting to bleed off now. The bleeding off when she starts to kind of lunch. See the difference between the synthetic. That's what you need to start with synthetic first. Yeah. Build a command. Build a command with that. Yeah. Wait her out. Big thing is waiting her out too. Can she's how old? She's about six months. Oh, okay. Perfect. She's never gonna lose this drive. So like anything we're doing right here, by the way. It's all genetic, right? So like, right. you're not gonna kill her drive by getting her out this way. Mm -hmm. Yes, good girl, so she let go, and I play again, right? So it's fun to let go when I stop motion. Now if I'm move, doing motion like this, she's always going to wanna really engage, right? Mm -hmm. So I can't, I'm not gonna ask her to let go. Even when the dog is really trained right now, I'm not gonna ask them to let go in this situation right here. So I'm gonna play, play, play. Good girl, and I'm gonna stop motion. If I need to, I'm gonna bring it down lower, but I'm gonna stop just like this, I'm gonna wait. She doesn't understand that we're not gonna play the game. She starts to bleed off, right? You see some of that thing happen right there? Yes, good girl! So just like, that's what you need to do with her. Gotcha. Like with my dog now, I have to use like a slip line to get him to let go. And I, I've got him to let go now, but at the time, right? When I first got him, like, it was really difficult. I never did it, I didn't have him as a puppy. So I never got to do these little games here. Um, that's all you're trying to do with her right now. Good girl. Go okay, down, try it one more time, and stop. We do it might be different. If she's used to pulling and winning every time, mm -hmm. she's gonna she's gonna try harder. That's kinda like my other family members, they can't get things from Yes, good girl! So see right here, I got her to let go of it, right? So she's doing it right now, you can put that command to that. You can use the transfer of two. Mm -hmm. You could do this exercise right here. That would be the more valuable one, in gotcha. my opinion. Let's see this. Um, I could probably even show an example of my dog here in a minute, how he lets go of it. And just, Yes! See how she sat right in front of it, right? Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. She's exactly. Right. Yes, but she's not rebiting it. No. So that's important. So she still has fun, like I said, her grip on this pellet. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's getting faster, it's getting better, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop again. I'm going to wait. <laughs> you get frustrated, right? Like, why can't I get it? Sit. If I can, I tell the dog to sit. If not, yes! If not, I tell her yes, and we start playing again. Right, so that was great. But That's a word that I use, is a loud yes. But if you notice, I'm being very passive. Yeah. 
The biggest mistake you can make when she lets go of it, take him away from her. That's what everyone does. That's gonna build, that's gonna cause conflict, and she's not gonna want to um, let go of it anymore. So you have to make sure when you stop motion like this, I don't take it away from, look how fast that was that time, right? Hey, hey, I might let her win at that time, right? Um, any so there you have it, very easy way to get the dog to let go if you can be patient. Now I want to elaborate a little bit more on this situation. The dog in that video comes from a very nice kennel, very strong dog. It was no surprise to me. Uh, my trainer talked to me and said that the owner was having a lot of trouble with his dog. He couldn't really play with his dog because his dog would possess items. But it didn't surprise me, again, hearing uh, where the dog came from and then being able to play with the dog myself. I can see why he had trouble. So this is the first day we were actually, he was actually able to see his dog be able to let go of a toy when he needed to. It's a great way to start shaping the out. Um, it's a great way to do this without any kind of compulsion. We're doing this uh, in a manner that's not gonna cause any conflict. Um, we wanna make sure we still have trust with our dog when we're doing this exercise. So I hope you enjoy this. Be on the lookout for more videos like this.